Hey, welcome to the Oddstar channel and on today's fun project we're going to talk air hammer talk. Anyhow, a couple videos back I replaced some sway bar bushings on an E250 Ford van where I had to air hammer out the sleeves and I got to be honest with you guys, it was, it was embarrassing, okay? I had this little guy right here, in fact I've renamed him. Some of you guys may know what Big Nasty is or who he is. Well, Big Nasty is a big air hammer. Well, I named this guy Little Wimpy. Can you see that? He's even got his own license plate right there. Little Wimpy. Anyway, um, Little Wimpy I bought 25, 30 years ago and it served its purpose. So hopefully today I can retire him. I did buy an Ingersoll Rand that was in my budget. Some of the really nice air hammers are two, three hundred bucks, which if I used it every day, I would probably go that route without a doubt. But anyway, let's go check out this Ingersoll Rand I got. We'll see if it, uh, you know, cuts the mustard. I'll put a couple of bolts in a vise. We'll give it a shot. We'll test it. We'll review it and take it from there. So Little Wimpy's replacement is going to be this Ingersoll Rand. It's the 114 GQC, it's called. And QC it stands for quick change. So your bits, you can pop them in and out really fast. That's much better than that old school spring thing. That just takes a lot of time if you got to change that out. Say you're going from a flat chisel to a pointed chisel. I mean, it's kind of a pain in the butt. So anyhow, this has the quick change. We've got to assemble that together and I'll show you that in a second. It's got 3,500 blows per minute. It weighs, what, 4.1 pounds. And the shank diameter is a 40 gauge, 0 0.40. And my cheat sheet's right on the back, so if you need any more specs, you can take a look at it there. So let's go over to the bench and check it out. Let's open it up now. So open the box. Looks like we get some instructions. Who needs that, right? Anyhow, here's the gun itself. And right away, just picking it up, what I do notice is it's got this nice rubber grip which gives you good grip, you know, like traction, so to speak, but it's comfortable in hand. I see it's got an adjustment here, like an air regulator, right on the bottom. So that's a nice feature if you want to slow it down. This is, well, this must be the uh, Virgin new tool cap here. So we'll have to get a screwdriver, pliers or something to snap this off so we can put, uh, I thought I had one on the bench here. Yeah, one of these bad boys. Put a little nipple on there so we can get some air into it. Here's the coupler. This is the quick change, so this collar, you just pull down on it. Looks like there's a love note in here. Let me see what that is. Uh, the love note tells us tighten down nine inch pounds on these collar lockdowns here. It looks like they got some blue Loctite already on them. And then thread it on, screw it on at uh, four foot pounds. So let's just do that right now. So we'll just thread this bad boy on and then let me see these hex. This looks like a three millimeter. So I'll grab a three millimeter Allen and we'll tighten these down to spec and we should be ready to uh, just about try this out. Okay, got my Allen wrench here. So tighten this down to uh, nine inch pounds. Like they said, I guess that's not too tight. I'm just gonna make them a, just a little snug, not too crazy because it is actually threaded on. So that should be good. Let's bust this sucker off. There we go, that's easy enough. It's fun breaking stuff. Oh, there's like a plastic bolt on the bottom here. Let me get a pair of pliers. The anticipation is fun. Oh man, they got that sucker tight. That was almost a forearm breaker right there, dang. All right, there's our plastic bolt. So that's out. I've already got some uh, what do you, Teflon on here. So we'll thread this in. I'll hook up the air and let's give her a shot. All right, so I got the air hose hooked up to the gun. I've got the chisel bit in there. I've got a 5 16 carriage bolt. That'll be our test dummy, I guess you call it. And I'll just load that up in here and tighten this down and we'll give it a shot. I'll probably do it fast time so you don't have to sit there and listen to a uh, running compressor and air hammer beating down. So let me put on my air muffs here and we'll get to it. The air compressor is fully pumped up. So that's where we're starting. Here we go. All right. So that was a 5 16 bolt. I'm screaming because I got my air muffs on. So of course it's not a grade eight. So it's probably like grade five, but it worked good. It cut it pretty flush. I'd say one of the nice features is this quick connect. So here's the 
Here's a bit, let me just show you how you, you do this. You just slide this coupler back, set that down in there, and you're locked in, you're done. I mean, one, two, three, you wanna remove it, it's like that. So let's do it real time with a uh, little wimpy here. And first we gotta, you know, crank off the spring. But, you know, this gives you time to think about what you gotta do all day long. And then put their bit in through there, slide this back in there, line everything up, screw it back down, and by then you already know the 20 things on your to-do list for the day. All right, so now we're in. So you can see how much quicker that one is. So what I did was, same bolt that you just saw me zip off, or if you didn't, you'll be seeing in a second. Anyway, I've got it in the uh, vise again, and air compressor's fully charged up. And I'm gonna do it with this gun now, with old Wimpy, and we'll see you know, what kind of time it takes, if it's longer, faster, shorter, whatever. Let's get to that. Air muffs on, and so are the safety glasses, so let me start hammering. There we go. All right, so let's wrap this video up on the Ingersoll Rand 114 GQC. I do like the tool, feels good in hand, that rubber grip is very nice. My favorite feature is this coupler here, this quick disconnect in and out. The time saver, that's the thing for me that I really like, saving time. And the adjuster here for the airflow, you don't have to go back to the compressor, so that's also a time saver if you're doing something a little more delicate. Uh, the tool does come with a one-year warranty, so that's pretty decent. And I'll leave a link to this tool down below in the description in the comments section if you're interested in it. Other than that, if you enjoyed the video, Tell me why in the comments down below. I appreciate it. If you got a name for this guy, leave it down below. And other than that, check me out on Instagram, Ozstar1, Facebook, Ozstar, and right here on YouTube. Don't forget to subscribe. So thanks for stopping by. I'll see you on the next one as always. Take it easy.